Tov, I'm Stephen Ben Danoon, and you are watching Israeli News Live. Here today in Jerusalem on the Temple Mount, a group of Hasidic Jews had went up there with their families, about three dozen with several small children. When, as they entered into the Temple Mount, even though guarded by heavy armored uh, police and military units there, the mobs of Palestinians that swarmed them and attacked their families and would reach through the crowd and grab the, the, the locks on the little boys' heads and jerk on them and throw all kinds of objects, shoes, rocks, and everything else at this, fa at this family that was going to tour the Temple Mount. It was absolutely despicable. In fact, not only is it an outrage, but it's a downright disgrace that American media, such as CNN, Fox News, and other world-known news outlets have not made this front page news. One thing you could be assured of, though, had it been the military or the Israeli military, the IDF, doing something like this to Palestinian children, then it definitely would have made worldwide coverage. I'm ashamed of you, CNN, and Fox, and all the other news outlets that have failed to carry this story. You should put it on your front page news. It should go globally. This is what Jewish people deal with on a daily basis. And yet we have artifact after artifact that proves that Solomon's temple once stood on this holy site. And even your own Bible, that the United States, that your constitution, your laws of your land that have upheld, that, that, that you uphold, were based on Israeli Jewish laws. So it's amazing to me that you don't take a stand for Israel and to say to the Palestinians, this land belongs to the Jews and you have no right on it. Today we also had a suspension a cessation of the peace talks. Uh, Benjamin Netanyahu made that stand only a week, less than a week before the negotiations were to end in the first place. Mahmoud Abbas is said to be in an uproar and that all options are on the table as a response. But of course the Israelis did it because of uh, the newly formed government in unity between the PA and the PLO, the Palestinian Liberation Organization movement that Hamas is part of, how they united together. Whether well, uniting is only a front for more terrorism to try to terrorize Israelis. It's time that the government here, and I don't say that all the government doesn't because there are great government officials here in Israel, such as Naftali Benet, and also uh, a housing minister, uh, Yuri Ariel, and then of course uh, Yariv Levin, who is the coalition chairman, also gave a thumbs up for a one state versus two states. Israel was never meant to be divided, although in reality it is a divided nation now. Because why? The United Nations has recognized the Palestinians. And then the Pope is coming here next month at the end of May. I guess he thinks he'll be the peacemaker. Well, maybe for all pretense and purposes, he will bring forth a false peace. But the Christian Bible tells us that there will only be for 40 and 2 months. God says in his word through the Tanakh, through the Hebrew Bible, that he will bring, that he is bringing down the nations for judgment. Just think, had America and the rest of the world stood with Israel, his original mandate was done back in the early 1900s for Israel, we wouldn't be in this situation today. But yet the world and the United Nations has turned against Israel time and time again, failing to recognize that Israel is God's chosen people. And this little sliver of land, though we do not have much, belongs to the Jewish people. There's many more lands out there that belong to the Muslim people or the Arab people. And that's where the Palestinians should be permitted to dwell. But oddly enough, Everyone wants to try to keep them here. Soon, the Dome of the Rock will not be there any longer. And there will go up a third temple. Mashiach will come, reveal himself to the Jewish people. 
and then you will know that God has visited Israel. I'm Stephen Bendenoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Thank you.